Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Billy, aka Lefty Heat, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Ozobot Evo Master Pack featuring the Iron Man skin from Marvel's Avengers. For an honest review, these robots are really cool. They are small, smart toy robots that empower gamers and learners to code, play, create, and connect the physical and digital worlds. They're actually one of the smallest robots in the world for kids to learn how to code. I thought they were really neat and let's get started. Let's get right to the review and take a look. Looking from the outside of the box, you can tell that this is not just another toy or educational product. The Ozobot team seems to have spent a good amount of time designing this. It looks great. I like the clear plastic top portion of the case. And the other characters available are the Hulk, Captain America, Black Widow, and Ultron. This is the next generation of heroes. This one in particular looks amazing with the Iron Man skin. It is user controlled. It has an LED. We have collision detection and hero interaction, so it will communicate with the other characters if you have them. Let's get right to the unboxing and what's neat about this case is it actually opens up and you can store everything within the box. So even after you open it you do not have to throw the packaging away because they have compartments here to store everything. To get started real quick what we're going to be doing is turning on the Evo then we're going to assemble the play field, initialize the play field, connect with the Evo app and then charging information for your Ozobot. What we have in here is the USB charger. So as you can see, it is a micro USB and a carrying case also comes with the Evo, which is a nice addition. So you have some place to store it as well. And right here is a stand for your Marvel skin. So this proves to be very handy, especially when displaying this on your desk or a certain place where you decide to keep your Evo. This is the play field right here and we're gonna put it together. It's kind of like a puzzle and it's pretty easy, it seems, to put together, and it needs to be the green side up, so I know there's a blue side underneath. Right now, we're only working with the green side. My initial reaction to the Evo, as well as the Iron Man skin, is that they are very well made. The Evo is made out of solid plastic, as well as the Iron Man skin, and you even have the micro USB connection in the back. You're gonna have to plug in your Evo bot to the Iron Man skin, and then that connects through the app as well. And as you can see right here, the Evo is made out of plastic with the wheels on the bottom. And we also have the connector that goes right into the back of the Evo, and that's the micro USB. This is to be used for charging, and it just works with a regular USB outlet or wall adapter. Now, that is the playing field. It is green side up, and we have our Evo right here. I just tried turning it on for the first time. Once the light is white, you're going to want to put it on the base right here to sync up and calibrate. Once it's calibrated, you'll be able to see the Evo moving around. It looks like we're all calibrated and ready to go. And this is going to now move around on the play field and understand each command underneath. And as you can see, the colors changed based on where the Evo is moving. I'm speeding this up for us right now just so we can see everything. The Evo knows that it should not go past the green markers, and that is considered a wall. It is fascinating to see the autonomous behavior of the robot. And once the Iron Man skin is attached, we will even get to see some sound effects and a mission completed right before us. Let's take a look at the app and go into a little bit more detail about how to control the Evo. I currently have an iOS device and the app is available for Android devices as well. It's called Ozobot Evo in the app store. What's neat about this is that it connects via Bluetooth to your robot and now it is fully controllable. Right now we are going to claim and name the Evo. I'm going to call it Billy and that is going to be my Evo. I figure I'll go with my own name and then we will see some of the different modes we actually can use to interact with our robot. All right, we'll click OK. Now it's claimed, and we can now control it within the app. There are ways that you can interact and customize your Ozobot, and I can't wait to hear about what is in store for the future of this app. I really like how you can program the robot to create an interactive move set, and then you can replay it back. Right now, I'm changing the eye color of the Ozobot. You can even change it to a rainbow and 
create different color schemes from the color spectrum. And I'm excited to, to see the future of everything. There's also a very cool emotions feature where you can use Ozojis and uh, you can tell your friends how you really feel with the emotions that the Evo can actually act out. And that's something that I've just never seen before. And it's, it's a fully interactive app, so if you have a friend with an Ozobot, you can add them as a friend and send them messages, which makes it all that much more fun and interactive. Hearing the Ozobot laugh is really cool. Let's click on poke. We have snore and huh for our next commands. And click on snore. That's what it sounds like, as well as huh. <laughs> Right now, we'll move on to our color commands, and we can even adjust the front-facing lights on our Ozobot, which this is such a highly customizable robot, and I'm very impressed right now with this mobile app. So many things to customize, and of course, sharing with your friends is something that is very important. So we also have a friends feature where you can send friend requests to other people with the Ozo bots. Now, to go into a little more detail about the Ozo codes, which we haven't really touched upon just yet, there is a way to create your own Ozobot tracks using these codes with your very own markers and a great way to teach kids to adults how to code. There's a whole guide available online for you and you can then use this to design your own track. I'll do a quick demo right here just to show you that the Ozobot does in fact react to these specific codes based on the colors. The only thing I would not recommend is using pastel markers. All regular markers with these colors of red, blue, and green should be perfectly fine and just to show you guys how sensitive the ozobot is i'm going to draw this pac-man style creature that we're going to let the ozobot race around right now and then i will create the command for the ozobot to shut off actually so it's now racing around the hand-drawn track that i created and i am going to now as it's moving color in the command to stop moving so it was green and red and and it is now going to stop and then shut off. As we move along, we are going to connect the Iron Man skin to the Evo. We're going to plug it into the Evo, and then we're going to press the on and off button to activate it. Then, of course, we'll have the Ozobot app opened as well. Let's hear what Iron Man has to say. I'm Iron Man. And it's fully interactive. Okay. Right. And Iron Man is now going to calibrate while following the path. I have the camera now on handheld and let's listen in to hear what he says. He can recognize Captain America and knows when he's trapped. Now let's see if he can actually go on his space. He knows exactly what to say when landing on a certain space and is attempting to complete a mission right now. Let's see if he can make it to Ultron. He is now spinning based on the command and going out of control. He knows that the wall is right in front of him. And I really like the sound effects. It looks like a battle could be happening. For more information on the Avengers missions, make sure to check out your Ozobot app. And we're going to now check out another game that is currently available called the Ozo Launch. And it's similar to an Angry Birds style game. What's neat about this is I'm going to put it on the blue area. I may have to actually reposition this based on the app and the calibration for this. So here, let me actually reset this. And I'm going to put this Ozobot on the blue area. Here we go. Put that right there and now the robot is ready for launch let's see how responsive this is so if we actually move this back and forth you can see how the ozobot launches forward and if there was a larger green area there it would be a bit easier to hit our target within the first try and as you see now we just made it to the green area and it doesn't really recognize it just yet but it is okay. I really like how the also the connectivity is with the moving left or right function. So it can actually swing to the left or swing to the right based on how you are positioning the Ozobot. 
and we'll, I'll line it up right here. So we want to try to get into the area with the green and red circles, and it looks like we've done it in one try right there. I am impressed, and I can see using this in the future to play games with friends being very fun, and I'm excited to hear what is in store for the future of the Ozobot games. In addition to everything we just covered, advanced programming is available through another application called Ozo Blockly. Now if I could give this Ozobot a review out of 10, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I am so impressed with it. I think that this is the perfect robot to teach kids how to code, and it is something that will definitely get everyone talking, especially being partnered with Marvel's Avengers now and taking the Ozobot to the next level. I really like how it is highly interactive. You can customize every aspect of the Ozobot from the lights. You can control it with the application. You now have the Marvel Avengers skin to complete the Marvel missions, and so much more. Now, with this being said, the only minor setback for me would be the mobile app. When I first downloaded the app, some of the features were not available, but once the updates were put into place, everything was very straightforward, and I was able to understand how to fully use the Ozobot, and I look forward to the future and learning more each day about this new and exciting product. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was very informative and you guys learned a lot about the Ozobot. It was really cool to see and learn how it interacts and can help kids code. I look forward to taking a look at more toys in the future. And as always, until next time, this is Billy signing out. Video game heat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I post new videos right here every week. I'll see you next time.